And Netanyahu's win, we can say, is an, is an addition to an existing trend, a trend of right-wing leaders emerging victorious in elections, from Donald Trump in the United States to Putin in Russia and Narendra Modi in India. The right continues to rise. A right-wing coalition has retained power in Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party, along with its allies, have scripted history. The right under Netanyahu has governed Israel for two decades now. But he's not alone. The list of right-wing heads of state is fast growing. Brazil voted in a new president last year. Jair Bolsonaro ended a two-decade left rule in the country. And with his emphatic win, Brazil marked a dramatic shift in the country's politics. A former army captain, someone who called himself a political outsider, is a highly divisive figure. Jair Bolsonaro swung the world's fourth largest democracy to the right. The same year, Vladimir Putin secured another six-year term as the Russian president. Even though his victory was on expected lines, Putin's re-election was seen as a step closer to him becoming Russia's leader for life. Many believe that Putin's views are far from extreme as per Russian political standards. But he is nevertheless a leader who ignites a wave of Russian nationalism. While his victory was no surprise, Americans voted for a surprise, or as some would say, a shock candidate. Donald Trump was elected to the White House in 2016. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. The real estate magnate shed his luxurious life and celebrityhood to talk about the toiling masses. And for many, his triumphant campaign was the trigger for the rise of the right across the globe. In India, Narendra Modi's 2014 win ended Congress's 10-year rule. It marked a rightward shift in Indian politics. Combining nationalistic rhetoric with a challenge to the political elite, Narendra Modi led his party to spectacular success in 2014. And he seems to be going strong in the upcoming elections as well. In Europe, if you chart out the countries which are increasingly turning right, the map will light up like a Christmas tree. Matteo Salvini, the current interior minister of Italy, is a far-right politician. When elections threw up an inconclusive result in June 2018, he became the kingmaker. Hungary's Viktor Orban has been occupying the Prime Minister's office since 2010. The far-right nationalist Prime Minister won his third term in April last year. Alternative for Germany is a far-right party that was formed just five years ago. But it managed to enter the federal parliament in 2017 and even bagged 94 of the 700 parliamentary seats. In France, Emmanuel Macron was elected as the president in 2017. But far-right populist Marie Le Pen gave him a run for his money. The trend is not just of right-wing parties winning the mandate but also of personality-driven contests. It's not just political parties as a whole that attract the voters. It is also the charisma of the leader that makes it more appealing. And for now, the world seems to be increasingly steering right. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.